some assembly required. My name is Jeff Crittenden. I'm the chair of the foundation. I don't know about you, but I've spent many times walking down the aisles, looking at all the different things. And I have to say, when I'm looking at the things, I look particularly for that number that says how many pieces, as in how much assembly is going to be required. I have begged the salesperson numerous times, could I please have the display model? And when they say, no, I'm sorry, sir, you're going to have to put it together just like everyone else, I sigh. I've been up early in the morning after the late service, putting together those easy to assemble projects. I'm sure some of you have as well. I remember my dad looking very bleary eyed one certain morning as I looked at the Millennium Falcon saying, Dad, this isn't quite right. And my poor dad, after the 5,000 pieces that he had spent putting together, there was one that was backwards. I'm sure that he was softly counting to himself backwards as my inspection continued. I think that's what makes Advent and Christmas so exciting. It isn't all neat and tidy. It has so many different aspects. It requires our attention. Sort of like the pageant, you know, each of those characters, they need to be sheep and there need to be shepherds and wise people. And may I also add, we always need to remember Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I think, should be in every nativity scene. But those pageants, they come together so beautifully with so many different moving parts, some assembly that's required. Some assembly required, we get that. As so we look around our world and our neighborhood, sometimes in our own lives, it's obvious that not everything fits all together nice and neatly. It needs our attention. It needs some assembly. That's what makes me so proud of the foundation. They pay attention. It takes all of us together and story after story emerge, like in St. Paul's United Church in Saskatoon, as they gather together with reading and cooking and all of these elementary school children gather together to learn and to listen. Or maybe it's Camp Kimoki, with their First Nations programming aimed at increasing our knowledge and understanding of a culture that we have so much to learn from. Or maybe it's the teachers who gather together to inspire us as they bring together the things that they've been learning and studying. Or maybe it's the academics that we sponsor and we invest in that they can continue to spread the incredible wisdom. Or maybe it's operation sharing, like in Woodstock, at Bullwinkle's Eatery, where they purchase new equipment for culinary classes. Or Oshwicken, in Ontario, as we reclaim our path of youth and young people, using an Indigenous framework and traditional teachings. All of these things we invest in together through the Foundation. It's absolutely amazing, and all I can say is thank you. Thank you for helping us assemble together such a beautiful tapestry. Now, we know sometimes it's a little bit complicated, and that's why we have this incredible staff at the Foundation ready to answer your questions, to help you with your applications, and to help as you make an investment in the Foundation. They're able to deal with all the amazing little parts and all the details that sometimes we don't notice at first. They make the assembly very simple. Maybe this year you'd like to consider making an investment. They're waiting to hear from you. Some assembly required. I remember the Christmas my grandma Crittenden gave me a present. She took the box and she handed it to me and she said, here, this is for you. And as I took it and I shook it just a little bit, I thought, oh, let's listen to all the pieces that are in there. And she laughed and she said, yes, there's some assembly required. And my heart, it dropped. And all you could see was her smiling. And as I opened that present, I could see that it was a puzzle. I laughed to myself as I saw this puzzle. Yeah, some assembly is required. And then I saw the picture. It was a beautiful picture of the nativity scene. Pretty powerful Christmas. She was quite right. Some assembly for all of us together. So friends, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Have a Merry Christmas. May it be so for all of us.